What's up guys and welcome back to Gas Station Simulator. Today we've got a very exciting video ahead of us, but first I want to tell you guys about my pants. That's right, these lovely things right here. So guys, today we've got a lovely sponsor on this video, Brooklinen. You've probably heard about them before. They're really popular. They're known for like luxury, super soft bedding, sheets and pillows, stuff like that. Well, recently they reached out and they wanted to send me their loungewear line. Wow. Think about that weekend nap when all of your responsibilities are taken care of. Maybe it's a little chilly outside, a little chilly in the house, something like that. You're cuddled up to a really, really soft blanket. It's like that, but you get to wear it. They've got tees, tanks, sweats, joggers, top, bottom, long, short, doesn't matter. They've got you covered. And I'm telling you, when you tear it out of the package, you can instantly feel the quality in the fabric. Like I'm, I'm not joking. I was genuinely really surprised it was this soft. It's not just me either. They've got over 90,000 five-star reviews. They're killing it. So go on, get comfortable and get it for less at Brooklyn. And they hooked us up with a coupon code. If you use that top link down in the description, as well as the code T Martin at checkout, you're going to save $20 off of an order, $50 or more. Seriously, guys, insanely comfortable. Check them out. Thank you to Brooklyn for sponsoring this video. And, uh, back to the dust bowl and we are back in business baby welcome to a brand new day good morning officer what can i do you for just looking for a uh, little top off here i got you don't you worry let me just fix you up right quick thank you for your business appreciate you man but um yeah you guys know last episode we ended off uh just kind of organizing cleaning things up took care of our inventory and we also bought a bunch of decorations outside of the gas station i don't think they really do anything for us but we've got like the new gas oil sign we've got all these pennants and stuff like that hey that is that is not the nicest way to, to handle the the situation man but that's okay uh, i'm gonna take care of you then we got somebody over in the garage and then today is a very exciting day we are potentially going to be hiring our first employee which i'm very excited about so you guys can see we want to use the pc to buy our first trailer i guess they're going to be living on site there's perks to that we're going to be able to go home at night sleep well sleep tight in our bed and know that there's somebody uh Somebody at the, the gas station taking care of things. Dennis comes around, wants to try to rob us or anything. He's not, not going to be able to do that. So, come over here. We honestly don't use much scratch X in this game. Come on, baby. I did notice that going in, in circles here actually works pretty pretty well. So, we've got that. And we've got a messed up tire up front. Man, you had a, uh, a rough go of it, huh? It's a good thing we can, we can fix you up here. We'll get you one of everything and make a, a nice profit. All right, $290 for that right there. That is that is pretty nice indeed. Let me pick all these up. We good to go? I do believe we're good to go. So let's go see what we've got going on. I've, I've got a sinking feeling this is actually going to be pretty expensive. I'm worried. Oh, we got people at the cash register. Okay, let me, let me get you real quick. Let's go, let's go. Be quick about it. Dude's coming in, buying all kinds of sodas and chewing tobacco at 9 a.m. Oh, I don't know what just happened right there. Chewing tobacco and ice cream for this gentleman. Okay, well, um, yeah, you guys, you guys are, are doing it right. That's, that's a healthy diet right there. Let me see what we've got going on. So, employee, we've got to buy a trailer for $249. Camper van, some common space for your employees to live in while working on the station. It provides for every basic need they might require. So I'm gonna buy it. All right. A brand new trailer. We're another proud owner of a rust bucket. So we can buy a second one to house more employees. With this, the first set will finally see to having proper neighbors. Sure. Oh, you need to upgrade your station to be able to do it. Shoot, okay. I was gonna say, I'm 100% down. Now hold, hold on now, people. I wanna go out, I wanna see. Where did they put this camper? I'm honestly. I had a, f oh, it's over here. Okay. And we probably should be taking care of our customers, but I just want to go see the dig, see what our guys are working with. I mean, it's not too bad. We've got a little grill out here. Looks like this is our water. You know, not the, the biggest thing in the world, but uh, for living out here in the middle of nowhere, it's, it's not bad. We'll keep you out of the sun. Hopefully it's got a nice AC that'll keep you cool and uh, hopefully it'll keep them happy. Happy employee, more money for me. Does that kind of work you know like ha happy wife happy life kind of ish not really okay so we we have a uh we've got a trailer but i think we need to hire an actual employee too let me let me run through these these fine people real quick last one here how you doing officer let me see if i can get all 10 without stopping we are off to a, a rough start but we're gonna be okay 
The hardest part is you want to make sure you don't use the sponge in front of an item and then have it end up hitting you. We're good to go. Okay. Let me see if I can hire an employee here. So we're going to go over to hire. Ooh, we've got options. Employee skills will increase as they level up, carrying out their jobs faster. Higher levels increase client satisfaction and the chance to receive tips. Interesting. So John is extremely overqualified. He finished law school and held a job as an attorney. How, how does your life turn this far south? He ceased working in law at a strange time, too early to be a career choice mistake, too late to be disenfranchised with his line of work. Interesting. He's not speaking about it, so it, it, he must be in some, some dirty business. He's noted to be outgoing, easily approachable, no service experience, you can only use his opinions to judge his effectiveness in working at the gas station. Or we've got Ameli here. She does have experience at other service jobs, but she's only looking for like temporary part-time work here. By the numbers, she's worked in the industry for four years now, though her behavior and previous work records make the claim feel false. She is noted to get along with only a few chosen while being condescending to the rest. She's been fired twice. We get new ones in eight minutes. I'm, I'm gonna go with John here. Let's let's get it, buddy. Go ahead and move on into the trailer. John used to be a big wig lawyer man out in the city. He's now a country boy. We'll fix him up, right? Good morning, sunshine. Welcome to the best gas station on earth, baby. How you doing, John? So we've got a task list, payments, fire employee. I mean, should we pay him a premium? Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay him yet. Task list, I'm gonna say clean the station. That is honestly one of the toughest thing. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me talk to you, task list. Handle the register. The register is the hardest, most tedious part. And as we have him working the register again, like it said, it's, it's you know, slowly but surely gonna, gonna upgrade. He's gonna get better at it. The only problem is, is he's so bad right now that it's, it's you know, gonna be rough. I, I don't know. And eventually we should get some better talent. I'm sure we're gonna be able to, you know, find workers that excel in, you know, mechanics that can work in our, our vehicle shop and stuff like that. Oh man, I'm sorry. I was, I was just coming to you, ma'am. He's got a little scanner gun. That's not what I get to use. I mean, he seems... Slow. Oh, you can actually see the, the little laser moving around there. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. He is he is pretty pretty slow. John, let me uh, let me. Can I take what? over here, boss? Oh, he just got something. He got something wrong. Okay, you know what? Um, let me let me have you clean clean the clean the station, man. I don't I don't think you're quite cut out for this line of work yet. I don't want to put you in a, a front facing customer role when you're you're not ready for it. And you're gonna be messing it up. John, what are you doing, brother? Come on, man. We got like stuff on the floor in here. Are you gonna pick? Are you gonna pick this up? Do do. You just kicked it. Are you singularly picking up items? And and we aren't we aren't gonna take the trash out to the the, the bin, dude. I've been a perfectionist all my life in everything, in like school, on group projects, in business. Like I, I've I've got a good editor on this YouTube channel that. I, I mean, I passed maybe like 10% of the videos to him. Shout out Hayden if you happen to watch this video. You probably won't since you're not editing it. But um, I, I have a hard time giving up control. And even in this game, dude, like kind of getting a little bit heated here. I, 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 I want him to have as much passion about the Dust Bowl as I do. This is the best gas station this side of the Mississippi. And the other side of the Mississippi too. It's just the best gas station period. And I just feel like you're not really, the, this, this can was still on the ground. You need to you need to be able to be able to pick it up. It's it's okay though. It's it's gonna be fine. Hopefully, as time goes on, as he gets experience and you know kind of works on it a bit, hopefully, he's uh, nice. he's gonna get better quicker. He's gonna get solid at it. We'll we'll see what happens. The good news is is it it does seem like we have the option to hire and fire at will. So like in eight minutes or so, when we have somebody else two minutes from now, when we have somebody else pop up. They, you know, I'm looking for like a 20 year old kid. He was working at a grocery store since he was 16 years old, has a fair bit of experience. You know, college wasn't really for him, but he's, oh, we ran out of gas. He's, he's, you know, looking to start a life for himself. That's, that's kind of the, the vibe that we need. 18 products, my love, thank you. I appreciate you, this is fantastic. Let me see if we can do this all in one. I like it when I do them without taking my, my finger off the, the left shift. About 21 seconds, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be done with his first shift, beautiful. 
I'm kind of tempted. I want to see how he handles a gas pump because I feel like that's pretty easy. All you do is, is just, you know, kind of squeeze the trigger and try to hit the mark. But at the same time, I feel like maybe he's, um, you know, not really qualified for that either. So now we can pay him. I'm going to pay all of it. I kind of want to pay in the premium just to see what happens. It's got a star next to it, but I'm, I'm not sure. Now the question, is he going to be able to work 24 hours a day like us or does he have to sleep? I, I don't. I'm not I'm not looking to, to end the man's life or anything, but I am looking for some help around here I think if we get two cars in waiting for fuel Maybe we can we can try him out over there. Just kind of see how he does We need to just make sure we keep an eye on him. You don't don't want to give him completely free reign again It's it's one of those things that nobody's gonna do it like you No, nobody has the passion like you obviously this is a family business for us But we also benefit from all the money we're making and stuff Whereas he's getting paid hourly, so you're not going to find that same quality of work. But as long as it's enough to get by, we can make it happen. It's actually a, a pretty significant challenge to, to be able to upgrade the station. Like, this this is a lot of work. You know, 10, 10 vehicle repairs is, is pretty insane. We've got to serve 100 customers. Bunch of, uh, of fuel requirements as well. Where's Where's our boy? You disappear on me. All right, let me let me let me go see how you can do. Um, go fuel the cars. You got this. I I believe in you. The thing is, we probably don't want to. We don't want to keep moving him around too much because we want him to get good at one thing. Is he heading out there? Let me let me just go watch real quick. Come on now. You got this. Gonna pick it up. Stick it in the car. Nicely done. Want to see this guy's reaction? Oh, grabbing it. How'd he do? There's another one out there. Uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just... I'll... You just go back to sweeping the floors, man. I... I nice we, we gotta work on it. Where... Is he going to bed? Where, where are you going? I think he's going to take a break. Okay. Well, it's, it's just all gonna be on us. Now, I will say he would earn his keep if we had another party bus show up because we were doing a lot of, of sweeping. I think something like that, he would actually be super, super beneficial to us. So I, I, I think with time, it's going to get better. We just have a wheel here. Just one wheel. Beautiful. Let me take care of this real quick. And again, obviously, he's going to get better with time. and We could potentially end up replacing him. We are going to go take a look at... Um, the other higher options right now. Andrew, that, I don't know about the beard, but I'm not gonna judge a book by his cover. Uh, just finished working three jobs simultaneously, so he's a very, very hard worker. He's looking for more profitable work, no matter its difficulty. Uh, his good service experience is noted to get along well with his core workers and staff. He enjoys outdoors, hiking, and camping. The last page of his resume notes that he is trying to save money for either a potential trip or immigration to Europe. Actually, I feel like he's gonna be a, a pretty, a pretty solid hire. Now he's not, he's not well qualified in anything. He's a level one in everything here. We've also got Machik, Masik. Uh, desperate need for a job. Work visa is expiring. His previous work records are in a foreign language. You believe the translation is correct and he didn't commit a crime. Okay. I like Andrew out of the two of these, I think, because he's got all the service experience. Neither one of them are bad. Looks like Andrew is better at repairing. Hmm. What's our employee's stats? Let me show his stats real quick. He's a cleaning level four now. He only makes two dollars and sixty cents an hour, bro. This we we are we are not being fair there. I don't know what year this is set in, but I mean it obviously it's what it, it set for us. I I didn't set that. I I would I would want to pay our guys more. I would think, but it's it's okay if they're if they're happy with it. They're happy with it. They just got to do them. Ah, okay, so we got an email from our uncle. We will have options for, for higher proficient workers, guys that are better at what they do, but they're going to ask for more money. So that's why he's at $2.60. The bonus is to get them to keep working. Interesting. So we, I mean, we could pay a bonus just to be nice, but when we pay that bonus, that's going to be for situations like, hey, we've got a party bus coming in. It's his time off. He's about to go take a break. We pay him a little bonus and then he sticks around and helps us out. Okay. So I'm, I mean, to be honest, I'm thinking the, the biggest thing that we want to do is just wait and find somebody who's really good at what they do. 
In the meantime, we'll keep him on the cleaning crew. He'll get better. I would say cleaner's probably third on my list. I think a, a good cashier would be invaluable just because this is a pain in the butt to do. And then also a mechanic would be nice just because there are so many varied jobs at the mechanic and it's kind of in a, a different building and stuff. I could run around here and clean and do a little cash register and restock and stuff like that really easily and, and pump, pump gas. But having somebody manage... The other building would be kind of nice. See, like, we're all the way over here. We just took care of this car. He had a couple of tires and, and some scratches that we had to take care of. So now we've got, I mean, the, the whole other side of the gas station is in chaos right now. We've got people making it dirty. We got people sitting at the cash register. We got people waiting for fuel. Like, if we had somebody to manage the other half of it for us, that'd be... That'd be really nice. Man, he really likes to sleep in, huh? I haven't uh, I haven't seen him in a while. It is 2.15 p.m. My guy, where where are you? Things things are getting kind of a, a little a little crazy out here. Hey, what he's just chilling. What are you what are you doing? He's drinking out here. We we got people honking. We got a business to run, dude. Come on. I I need you to go. I need you to go clean the station. Pay oh, we gotta pay him. We gotta pay him. Oh, that's my bad. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know it was like that. I thought. Are, are are you gonna Are you gonna go? Can you Can you go clean the station? Thank you. You don't gotta worry about it. I'm good for it. We're We're making money out here. Talk about. I'm gonna go sit in my trailer and drink until I get my seven dollars. Get out of here, man. I gotta pay you every two weeks or something. Not Not every shift. That's crazy. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I, I think. I think he might He might get the axe at, at some point. I, I, I don't know. He's doing his thing. He's he's cheap. He's not good at anything technically yet. He's getting better at cleaning, but he's he's cheap. And, and I guess that's nice for us. We can save a buck here. I would like somebody who's a little bit more of a go-getter. Who knows if we can actually find that, though. I wish there was a way to automate paying them. I feel like it should just be, like, let me, let me put them on that auto debit every week, every two weeks, whatever he prefers. And then we don't have to, oh, this is nice. See, like coming back here, that place should have been a mess sitting out there waiting for deliveries and stuff, but he's already taken care of it. Okay, I'm, I'm joking around. I'm talking trash about him, but he he actually is kind of nice to have around. I, I appreciate you. No, 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 no. Do you guys hear it? Not again, not again, not again, not again. Oh my God, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We're about to make so much money, dude. I, I gotta be on point though. I wish, dude, can we buy a second cash register and put put our employee on it? Cause that that would that would be really beneficial right now. I don't I don't think we can though. Oh my goodness, dude. Sound the freaking alarm. Okay, okay. Let me they they like alcohol and they like tobacco. Let me let me place everything we've well, everything we've got. Unfortunately, I think our garage is just going to have to be it's going to have to be ignored for now. It's honestly this is a good thing for us though cuz we've we've still got 75 or 85 customers that we've got to take care of, so this is going to knock them knock them back pretty quick. We learned in the last one that our focus just needs to be on the the party goers here. They come in, they buy all the snacks, all the sodas, all the alcohols. Got to make sure we're, we're buying stuff to, to, you know, keep it keep it stocked. Could run out and maybe do quick fuels, but I think the most money is going to come gonna come from this. Quick fuel, quick fuel. Know what you want. Get the heck out of here. Let's go. Come on now. Bang. Beautiful. Bang. All right, let's go. Back in here. Holy cow. We got a line, fellas. We got a line. Let's try to get through the whole line. I wonder if we get some sort of a bonus or something. That's what I'm talking about, John. Keep it up, buddy. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay you extra, pay you a premium. There you go, dog. I appreciate you. You just keep doing your thing. When I eat, we all eat, my man. I appreciate your loyalty. I know we kind of got off to a bit of a rough start. I wouldn't call it a rough start, but we're gonna learn and earn together, baby. John, I'm gonna load your pockets, man. Don't you worry about it. Just, just keep, keep sweeping. Keep sweeping, keep, keep sweeping, and he's keeping sweeping. Oh my god, this guy has a 21 product order. This is absolutely outrageous. One thing that is kind of nice, though, is I feel like these guys tip pretty well. If you leave the register running for too long... Oh, don't, don't miss that, Trev. You're good, you're good. If you leave the register running for too long, just holding down the, the left shift, it uh, 
the audio shuts off. That's kind of a good sign you're doing a good job. You're amazing. Woo, $87. We got two people at fuel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've had like two or three people run through the garage and they pull in and they wait for us and then they leave. I feel kind of bad, but like I I, I gotta I gotta focus on, on what we're doing. Oh, that's we survived the party. They're gonna leave. The first time we didn't survive the party, we just took care of an entire party bus and look up in the top left our man john handled the business on that that swiffer baby let's go so i think that's a fairly good spot to stop this episode i mean we we have a long grind ahead of us I, i've still got you know 70 customers to get through six more cars to repair tips that's are going awful. pretty quickly we've got a few more cars and stuff so i mean it, it this this is gonna be a few a few hours of playing. This game has gotten to the point where it's getting a little bit grindy, but to be honest, I kind of like it. Let me check one thing before we go. Let me see if we have any good employees. Now these are the same guys. Okay, so it changes every 24 minutes or 30 minutes, I guess, in, in game time. So I'm gonna grind this out. I'm gonna keep checking for new employees. We may have a new employee when you guys come around tomorrow. Part of me really wants to keep John, but if we have somebody that pops up that's very good at what they do, then. As a business owner, we're going to be forced to make a tough decision. I do like loyalty, though. I, I do appreciate loyalty. So it would take a lot for us to get rid of our boy. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the start of something great. Next episode, we should be upgraded to the next level of gas station, which means new abilities, new methods of income, a second employee we're going to be able to hire. It's, it's going to be a great time. So I'll see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Check out Brooklinen top link down in the description and um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.